Hey, it's Thursday, March 26, 2020, and this is your daily foundry encouragement. Uh, I learned a new word today. It's called twaddle, and what it means is trivial writing or foolish speech. Uh, kind of the fluff that we listen to. Uh, things that would fall in that category might be things like soap operas or uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, um, just stuff that's like mush for the mind, you know? It's the kind of thing that you can look at and and just kind of tune out everything else and, and not think and not grow and, and not do any of those things um, while you're consuming it. And this is really for a literature type of terminology, but I think it applies to social media and I think it applies to YouTube and television and, and, and those types of things as well. Uh, Captain Underpants <laughs> comes to mind, just stuff that's like not good for your brain at all. It's like junk food or uh, candy for your brain. It you know feels good to consume it, but it really doesn't leave you any better. Anyway, I've been thinking about this word, twaddle, and I've been thinking about this season that we're in with the pandemic and being home and having all kinds of free time, and most of you haven't gotten assignments from school yet, at least that's been my understanding. And so I wonder how much of our time we're spending on twaddle. <laughs> How much of our time we're just thinking about things that are, uh, you know, cotton candy for the brain and not really growing us or stretching us or, or making us more like Christ. And so I just wanted to challenge you today to think about um, identify those areas of twaddle in your life. Uh, for me specifically, that would be things like my Facebook uh, feed or my Instagram feed or maybe it's TikTok or YouTube or Netflix, kind of that place that you go to go zone. And it's okay to zone for a little while, but it is not meant to be a lifestyle. You know, we talked about last night in youth service how waiting time isn't wasted time as long as we're growing. And so I just want to encourage you, even though you're out of school, you can still grow. The cool thing is right now you get to choose what you want to learn about. You get to choose what you want to put into your mind and what you want to put into your heart and into your soul. The Bible tells us to teach us our to, the Bible tells us, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. That's Psalm 90, 12. And I think that's a good thing for us to realize is, yes, it seems like this is going to go on forever, but it won't. We only get so many days on the planet and we need to do something worthwhile with them. We need to do something kingdom with them. We need to do something eternal with them. And so I hope that today you'll put down the twaddle, at least for a little while, and do something to grow your soul. Thanks. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. Love to each of you.